स्टे पॉजिटिव वर्क हार्ड एंड मेक इट हैपन नमस्कार वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट आई एस आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर मेजर हेडलाइंस ऑफ द हिंदू इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड प्रेस इन्फॉर्मेशन ब्यूरो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज डिस्कशन नाउ रशियन इन्विजन ऑफ यूक्रेन हैज लेड टू अटेबल शिफ्ट इन ग्लोबल जियो पॉलिटिक्स पर्टिकुलरली एनहांसिंग द पार्टनरशिप बिटवीन रशिया एंड चाइना द कन्फ्लिक्ट पुस्ड रशिया क्लोजर टू चाइना मेकिंग देयर पार्टनरशिप इंक्रीजिंगली इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ बोथ कंट्रीज शेयर ग्रेवेंसिस अगेंस्ट वेस्टर्न लेड फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम विच हैज लेड दम टू सीक अल्टरनेटिव टू द डॉलर एंड स्विफ्ट सिस्टम इकोनॉमिकली द ट्रेड रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन in russia and china reveals a significant asymmetry because russia heavily relies on china for its energy exports and high priority goods necessary for its military while china's export to russia are more diversified this dependency makes russia economy vulnerable and underscores china's growing influence over russia now let's know its repercussions on india so friends india's strategic relationship with russia is at risk due to its deepening alignment with china and the imbalance in economic ties between russia and china limits russia's autonomy and flexibility in balancing its relationship with other countries including india and it could also impact india's security and diplomatic strategies here next article focuses upon rapa nui island which is a remote volcanic island and it is part of polynesia and a territory of chile polynesian explorers likely reached the island centuries before european contact establishing a unique society despite harsh environmental conditions rapa nui is known for its maui statues which are large human shaped figures believed to honor ancestors rapa nui practiced limited agriculture including rock gardening to enhance soil productivity and popular narrative suggests that overpopulation led to ecological collapse on roparnui leading to societal demise but this notion has been challenged by new evidence because current research reveals that roparnui's inhabitants did not overexploit their resources but rather faced external threats that decimated their population next article talks about windfall tax because recently government has announced a reduction of windfall tax on domestically produced crude oil to zero per ton effective from today onwards We're talking about windfall tax they are imposed by government against certain industries when they experience above average profits due to economic conditions for instance the energy price rise as a result of russia ukraine conflict now according to a recent report by economic advisory council to the prime minister maharashtra and gujarat showed strong economic performance while five southern states including karnataka andhra pradesh telangana kerala and tamil nadu accounted for over 30% of india's gdp delhi has the highest relative per capita income Next article talks about Quad Summit because Prime Minister of India will visit the United States to participate in the fourth Quad Leaders Summit. Quad is an informal multilateral grouping of India, US, Australia and Japan and it is focused on promoting a free and open Indo-Pacific region which is significant for maritime trade and naval presence. Next article focuses upon elections in Jammu and Kashmir because elections for the Jammu and Kashmir Assembly will begin from today onwards marking the first since the abrogation of Article 370 in 2019. The Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act 2019 is the ut of jammu and kashmir with a legislature while ladakh was created without one now the new assembly will function as legislative body for union territory rather than a state assembly can legislate on matters from the state list except public order and police now lg has substantial authority compared to previous state assemblies lg can also act independently in areas not covered by the assembly's legislative powers and on matters requiring judicial functions lg oversees the bureaucracy and anti corruption bureau in addition to public order and police now union minister for fisheries animal husbandry and dairying presented the achievements of fishery sector now let's know more about it friends india is the second largest fish producing country with around 8% share in global fish production globally india also stands at second in aquaculture production and it is one of the top shrimp producing and exporting nations and india is also third largest capture fishing producer during the last 10 years government of india has taken up several transformational initiatives for holistic development of fisheries and aquaculture sector in this context government has approved more than 30000 crore in investment for fishery sector with pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana leading the way now today national symposium excise ekya will commence in chennai from today onwards it is organized by the national disaster management authority and army southern command its primary goal is to enhance disaster preparedness and foster collaboration among key stakeholders the event will include technology discussions and expert insights into disaster management roles the symposium will also address contemporary issues like tsunamis floods landslides and forest fires now sixth round of foreign office consultation between in india and eurogate took place both sides reviewed the progress in bilateral relations and explored new areas of cooperation including trade and investment information and communication technology railways ayurved and yog so with this let's conclude our today's discussion thanks for listening and for all your updates you can follow us on various social media platforms